Are you trying to tell me that this is your act? Uh, yes, sadly, this is it. Uh, let's take a call in uh, Harrow by a person called uh, Jonathan. Harrow. Uh, good evening, Nick. Yes, Jonathan. Um, look, I think I usually call you with jovial points, okay? Mm-hmm. But I think in this April, I'm unraveling and the country is unraveling. Um, now, without wishing to be depressing this year. Yes. Uh, this uh, weekend, or rather this week, has seen the Nigel Farage's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was an ice sculpture, and the guest list included the Aaron Banks. It included um, the uh, nutty one, the one who was a 6 uh, p.m., the lady. You know, a, you're going to have trust. to narrow it down for us. Trust. Oh, the nutty one. The uh, right. Okay. Well, you should have said that right at the beginning. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, Zin Davidson. Um, uh, and I, c- I can say this word because James O'Brien referred to Nigel Farage as this on his morning show, so I can Uh-oh. say it on LBC. He, he talked. To, he he said Nigel Farage is a skid mark on uh, Britain. Oh. Which is like the mark of the, when you do a past the yes, wind yes, in your yes, underpants, yes, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for describing that in detail. Now, the the problem is, um, I voted, I, I've said many times why I voted, I've, I've said I voted the Brexit, I've never said why because it's a bit controversial, but I acknowledge the error of my ways. Right, but now, but, I, now I need to know why. Well, I'm not a pickle, but... Ma, I used to listen to LBC a lot when Nigel had his show, actually. Yeah. Um, and I was living in a little house, and Ma, oh, no, I'm not a racist. But? Yeah, but, no, no, come on. <laughs> but Ma, Romanian car washers, I thought, when I was doing well financially, I had a BMW, I thought my Romanian car washers had stolen my tax disc. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm being serious. Yes. Uh, now, actually, what it turned out, because I told you, I'm from Kolkata in the India, and the Romanians there in the UK, they actually, a lot of them originally originated in the Rajasthan in the 1600s, you is know, that, the traveler community. It, is that right? And in in fact, the um, mm, tax disc was under my sofa. Well, where else would you keep your tax disc? No, but I thought they'd steal it. Yes. Well, why wouldn't Not you? Not in a racist way. No. No. But my point is, I acknowledge my. I said to I said to you, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for what I did. But can I say one thing? Your LBC callers and the British public, I'll, keep, I'll go on Twitter, I'll, I'll go on YouTube, and there are still people when it comes to immigration, the dingy people, the you know, lots of immigration in this country. Um, they, you know who they still blame? You. They're still blaming the Labour. Oh well. Yes, with good reason. I mean, the Conservative Party have only had 14 years in power. Give them a chance. No, but I mean, are people actually mentally backward? <laughs> Which ones? No, no <laughs> I'm... Be- oh. Sorry. I mean, can we narrow it down geographically, at least? No, I mean, the problem is, I, I watch a, a YouTube channel of a chap called The Bold and Bankrupt. Have you ever seen it? No. He he travel all around the world, and I think he's the. I mean, he's a bit creepy, but he does good show. And he, <laughs> no, it's true. But he came he he came back to the UK, and he was obviously you know he's a British expat, so he is immig- he's not immigrant, he's expat, and then he comes back and he's implicitly saying, oh look, there's lots of immigrants there. Yeah. And you know he started his video like in some awful part of the UK, like Birmingham. Oh. And you know what he's sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. You know yeah. what he started his video with? No, I don't. He started it with, in, for international audience, it's very popular. He started it with a montage of Tony Blair and things can only get better. And then he, he panned to all the rubbish. And it's as if he's blaming Blair for the conservative policy. But your your station's listeners, are, are no offense to them, by the way. Mm-hmm. But are they actually mentally backward? Because now on Twitter, I saw David Cameron at the NATO giving a speech. Uh, he, did you say it? He's doing like a PR shot. Yeah, he's uh, t- talking while walking. Yeah. And people on Twitter are the centrist, the ones who said that the Jeremy Corbyn no, was an anti Semitism. They are now again going, oh, Cameron, he's doing quite good as the foreign minister. And he's not. He's just a posh man who they say, oh, he would be better than Sunak. And you know why they're saying this, the walkie century? Go on. Because they're the racist. <laughs> right. No, I'm being serious. Because, yeah, no doubt. You know, it is the racism because uh, David Cameron is a white posh man mm-hmm. with a lovely face. 
Very strong sort of muscles. No, I'm, being, I'm not gay, but I'm saying he's got a lovely body. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, um, I, that's the first yeah. thing I noticed about him, uh, his, uh, his uh, you know, his whole physical um, presence. Yeah. No, they, they look at him and they look at people like me or the Rishi Sunak and they think we should be doing the delivery or the waiters service because they are a lot of racists. But can I quickly say another thing here before I go, if I can? Yeah, before you go. Yeah. Time, time's running out. Go ahead. <clears throat> the two quick thing is that I have been having insomnia and financial problems and Dev Patel has a new movie and I had visions of him actually and um, I could have been like him and I'm so, so zealous. But I will, before I go, I'll tell you, the problem is this country now, feminism has meant that uh, fam families in this country are all, it's just... Uh, uh, single uh, no again have to be careful not in an offensive way it's <laughs> no it's it's women uh with their kiddies and um no husbands and i was in and you were talking with uh, rajish uh the in oldbury you know the fish fry about this thing is <laughs> because <laughs> yeah you are listen quick quick last thing because i was in um i was in london and it's london is i mean i, I don't want to be um offensive but it is now like an open uh, toilet S sewer yeah you know, it's a, and I was on the tube, and there was a, and this is not in a racist way, but, but there was a young um, mixed race chap, very young, maybe 15, and he had a big afro, and um, he sort of, he kissed his teeth as he went onto the tube, <laughs> because it was so overcrowded. <laughs> and I know you don't like a listener with material. <laughs> no, but but this actually happened to me. Yes. He stepped back. He stepped back into me, and his some of his afro went into my mouth, and that is literally <laughs> shoving multiculturalism into your throat, isn't it? Down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leave leave us with that vivid mental image. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. It was Jonathan in Harrow. <laughs> oh three four five.